How much money do you think we're talking about? Billions. Billions. Is that possible? 100% possible. Other cities have, have done it. That's in response to how expensive it could be to reduce gun violence by 50%. It's a goal over the next five years for a new coalition that was announced last week. It's called KC United for Public Safety. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Bria Leff. And I'm John Holt. The group KC Common Good, itself trying to address the root causes of violence, is part of that new coalition. Fox Sports Jonathan Kent's live at Union Station tonight where a special documentary was screened. And John, you, you had a chance to visit with the new coalition CEO. Yeah, that's correct. The CEO of KC Common Good, uh, Classy Alcine, talked to us inside the Kansas City Chamber offices of Union Station after the panel discussion. And actually, before the panel discussion even started, a documentary was shown comparing two of our local cities and another. The Kansas City Chamber played the half hour PBS documentary, A Tale of Three Cities, where the crime reduction plans of Kansas City, Kansas, and Omaha, Nebraska were looked at. Kansas City, Missouri is trying to reduce its violence rate. At this same date last year, there were 147 homicides in KCMO. This year, there have been 121. Our fatal, non-fatal shootings are up, um, and that is somewhat of a result of, of having some of those shootings where more than one victim is struck by violence. In 2023, KCPD says there were 406 living shooting victims from the beginning of the year to October the 13th. This year, the number has gone up, though, to 493. After the discussion, we asked Chief Graves if she'd copy anything from a department like KCK, where their non-fatal shooting numbers actually went down from 2023 to this year. So that's part of that focus deterrence. That is specifically focusing on those trigger pullers, people that are involved in violent crime. That is something that uh, is, is we've had here before, but it's a different model this time with Save KC. When you look at KC uh, 360, that's modeled from Omaha. That is bringing the community and police together. KC Common Good CEO Classy Alcine says getting more experts into schools where they can reach children before they get involved in violence will hopefully help in the future. I think that this plan is going to need a lot of investment. Um, but at the same time, you're talking about areas have not been invested in for decades. So it's going to take a lot of money to fill in that gap. In the documentary, the area east of Truce is the area talked about where disinvestment has happened in many years prior. John. Jonathan Katz live at Union Station tonight. John, thanks.